Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use a Clipchamp video editor for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, what is a great software that you can use for free to edit videos? Well, Clipchamp is going to be your friend. So Clipchamp is available on Windows and you could either use their website or their application, which in this case, I'll be showing you later on how to install it. Now, in this case, we first need to see what are the things that we could do in Clipchamp. Well, the basic feature here for Clipchamp is to basically edit your videos. So you also have the option to uh, record your camera, your screen, even use the text-to-speed option that they have right now. Now they also have the option to create GIF, video cropper, and AI video editing if you want to use that. Now in this case, is Clipchamp is free. So let's go to pricing here. So Clipchamp, you can use this for free. So there are a lot of features here like the basic video editing software, auto composition, free filters and effects, basic stock media, text to speech, auto captions, speaker coach, and up to 1080p HD exports. And you don't have to pay for anything. But if you decide to use their premium version here, which is something fancy, well, you could go ahead and use the or have the following features. So you have the unlimited watermark free exports and up to 4K export resolution. Now you also have the option to add premium audio, image and video stocks and premium filter and effects, brand kits and content backup if you want to back up your data or your projects. Now, in this case, you can go ahead and start signing in or signing up into their platform. So at the top right, just click on the sign up button. And from here, you need to provide some details about yourself. So you have the option to continue with Microsoft or continue with your email or continue with Google or sign in to Clipchamp for your wor for work accounts. Now in this case, choose whatever way that you want to log in. And from there, once you've logged in, you should be able to see the main homepage for Clipchamp. But to make things a lot more easier or a lot more uh, faster on our end, well, we could choose or we could basically install the application itself on our Windows. So to do that, first things first is we need to open up our Microsoft Store. Now, under Microsoft Score Store, you need to look for Clipchamp. So go ahead and search for Clipchamp here. And from here, you could go ahead and just basically install it into your PC. As you can see right now, you could go ahead and just install it into your PC. And from there, you'll be able to start using it. Now, in this case, since I've already installed it on my PC, this is the main homepage for Clamchamp. So the UI itself is similar to the web version. So either ways, if you're using the web or the application itself, it doesn't make the difference. They are the same thing. Now, in this case, the first thing you'll see here is the home brand kit and templates. We also have the folders option here and the uh, account at the top right. I also have the option here to upgrade your current plan right now since we're just using the free option, free plan in Clipchamp. Now, in this case, we have two options. So create a video or create video with AI, which is something really neat. And since with the uh, new trends in AI right now, it's going to make things a lot easier for us if you use the AI. But for now, to get us familiarized with what we could do here on Clipchamp, we want to start creating a new video first. Now, if you're wondering if you could create a video very fast, like for example, a quick birthday video or a quick Instagram video or Christmas creating video, well, you could use their templates so you can go and click on the all templates here on their home or the templates tab here so if you click on it they have different templates like for christmas and even for youtube here now they also have instagram gaming slideshows per se so whatever need or whatever video that you need you can just basically start using it or basically choose a template for it now in this case we want to go ahead and go back home here since we want to create a new video first now from here, once you click on that, we'll be seeing the main editing UI for Clipchamp. Now in this case, just to give you an idea, so at the left side here, this is where you'll be able to uh, basically record or create, see your content library, uh, use templates, add text, add transitions, and even the brand, brand kit as well. Now, at the rightmost side here, this will really be able to see the different tools that you could use for editing your content. Like, for example, the audio, the fade, the filters, effects, adjust colors, speed, transition, and color as well. 
Now in here at the center of your screen, this is where your video is going to be shown. And just below it, this is where your timeline is going to be shown. So for example, we want to start editing our video. So first thing first is we want to add our video. So let's go to content library. Now under content library, you'll be able to add different things. Like for example, shapes, stickers, videos, annotations, and a lot more. Now, if you want to add your own video, you could go to your media here. And from here, just open up any folder, choose your video. And from there, you should be able to add that video. So in this example, I'll be adding a video here. So let's, let me just search for it. So in this case, I have this video. So let's go ahead and press and hold on it and drag it into this section here. Now from here, it's going to start uploading it. And from here, once it's under your media, you could go ahead and just press and hold on it and add it into your timeline. As you can see right now, we are now able to see our video here. Now, in this case, if you want to add other sections for it or other elements into it, go. you need to go to content library here. And as you can see, we, maybe we want to add stickers on it. So let's go ahead and click on subside, subscribe stickers here. And from here, we could go ahead and add whatever. Now, I do have to warn you, some of the features or elements here might not be free. So choose the options here that are free. So in this case, we want to basically use this one. You can go ahead and drag it into your uh, say, uh, canvas here or your video here. And as you can see, we could go ahead and start editing them. Now, as you can see, whenever we press on one of the elements here, you see the dotted sections here. Well, this is a way for us to basically resize the element that we added here. So if you want to make it a lot bigger, a lot smaller, you could go ahead and do that. Now, you also have the option to basically fit this if you want to, and the option to rotate it if you want to as well. Now, we also have the other option or more options here. Like, for example, if you want to flip this specific element here or picture in picture if you want to as well. Like, for example, picture in picture, a top left, as you can see, this one. Now, in this case, if you want to adjust the link or where the specific element is going to appear, what you need to do is you need to use your timeline here. Like, for example, at this specific section here, you want to appear make the uh, section or the link in bio section up here on the very center as you can see we could go ahead and drag it here on the very top or the very first part here and from there you could go ahead and just resize or make the uh, section or the element here a lot longer or a lot smaller or shorter now in this case just press and hold on the ends of it and you'll be able to change the length of that specific clip as you can see right now now, if you want to split a specific section on your video, like for example, you want to remove some certain parts, well, you could use the split tool here. Now, if for example, you want to split this clip here, make sure you select it first, click on the split option, and as you can see, we were able to split those two clips on those specific time periods. Now, if you want to add other elements as well, like for example, you want to add a text, you could go and choose text here. So you have the option to add plain text or use uh, the one of the following uh, templates or titles that you could use. Like for example, we have the option here. So just drag it into our timeline. So you could drag this in either in your uh, works or video here or under your timeline. Now, in this case, whenever it appears, as you can see, it's going to have that animation here. Now, if you want to change the text itself, what you need to do is you just need to click on it and click on the text at the top, right? And from here, you should be able to see or edit your text. Like, for example, I want to say this is a text. And from here, you could change the font, the size, text color, and the background color itself. Like, for example, we want to make this green. And from here, we want to basically exit this one. Now, also, depending on what you select or what elements you select here on your timeline or in your project, the right side here or the tools available to you might change. Like, for example, if you click on nothing here, like the empty spaces here, you have them all available. So if you want to add effects and a lot more, you could go ahead and do that. But if you select a specific clip here, like for example, I'm going to select this first clip here. So let's go to the timeline here, click on this clip. You have the option to add filters if you want to add filters, as you can see. So by the way, if you see an, a diamond icon here, it is for a pro or the upgraded plan here in order for you to use that. For example, we want to add a blue and hue here. We can change the intensity, make it more intense or a bit more less intense or yeah. So from here, we also have the option to add effects like for example, spin, flash, pulse, 
VHS if you want that. I also have the adjust colors here if you want to um, make your video around the cooler side or the warmer side colors. Well, you could go ahead and use that. Now, I also have the option here to change the speed of that video. Like, for example, we make it a lot faster. As you can see, the length itself will also adjust. But for now, we want this to be at the ordinary speed. Now, from here, uh, the limit on how you edit your videos here actually depends on what your imagination and your creativity is. So in this case, you could go with whatever or use whatever elements that you could use here to edit your video. But once you're done, you just need to click on the export button at the top right of your screen. And from here, you have the option to choose from 480 for drafts or 720p for a smaller file and faster export and the 1080p here, which is for high quality. In this case, you choose 1080p here or the 4K here if you have the upgraded plan. Now, in this case, what you need to do is you just need to wait for it to export. And from there, you could go ahead and create a video thing here if you want to share this to other people. Now, as you can see, we have our downloads here. So if you click on the folder icon, you should be able to see where that video is currently exported. But yeah, so that's how you use Clipchamp for beginners. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.